Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the basic use of the Swix client, Swixit. In this short video we'll go through the setup of the client and basic call handling techniques. It doesn't matter how your client looks, the basic techniques remain the same. So you'll either have something based on the Swix 2015 skin or the Swix 2013 skin or you may have something custom for your company. The first thing to do is to configure the speed dial keys if they haven't already been done. If a speed dial is empty, then simply click with the left button to call up the properties page. But if the button is already programmed, then right click the button to select the properties from the drop down list. Clicking on this phone book icon allows you to pick an internal user and use to assign it to the button. We can now repeat this for all the keys. Once the keys are set up, we can rearrange them simply by dragging and dropping them to a new location. The colour of the icon next to the user gives us information about the user's status or presence. So if it's green, the user is logged on and free to talk. If it's red, the user is on the phone. Yellow shows that they are set as away, and a red stop sign shows that they have put themselves into Do Not Disturb, and if the icon is greyed out, the user isn't logged on. The easiest way to call someone internally is simply press the speed dial button. However, even if you do not have a speed dial key displayed for the user, all you have to do is start typing their name in the dial pad. You will see a list of all users, and again their presence information is displayed in the list. It doesn't matter which part of the name you type, and the more you type, the closer the match list will be. Double click on the username, and the call will be made. Of course, you can always opt for the good old fashioned way by dialing someone's extension number if you know it, and press enter or pick up the handset if you're using one. To call externally, there are a number of options, so you can choose which works well for you. The old fashioned way is to type the number in the client and press enter, remembering, of course, to use the line access code, which in the UK is usually 9 for an outside line and in Europe, zero. If you wish to make an international call, rather than type 90047 for a German number, for example, you can just use the standard canonical format and type in plus 47 and the telephone number for a German call, or plus 1 for the United States, for example, and press enter or pick up the handset if you're using one. It is also possible to dial an outside number from any application. Simply highlight the number and press F11. For example, this could be from a website. Find the telephone number. Highlight the telephone number and press F11. From an email, find the telephone number highlight it and press F11. The same works for Word, in fact any application in Windows where you can highlight a telephone number. Press F11 and Swix dials. Let's now look at transferring a call. This works for any call, incoming or outgoing, and whether you wish to transfer the call to an internal extension or an external telephone number. In this example we have an incoming call and I answer it either by lifting the handset, pressing the button on the side of my cordless headset, or pressing the line key. The simplest way to transfer a call is to find the speed dial for that extension and press it. This will automatically put the outside caller and their line key on hold, take a second line key to enable you to talk to an internal user. You can now announce the call details and complete the transfer either by hanging up the handset 
or pressing the transfer button on the client. Of course you can do it the longer, old-fashioned way. By answering the call, put the caller on hold by pressing the line key. Take a second line, manually type in the number or select a speed dial and press transfer to complete. The same process can also be used to transfer a call to an external number. Take a second line key, dial the number and press the transfer once you have announced the call. However, when transferring a call, if the user asked, what is this about, is it urgent, etc., you can toggle between the two calls by pressing the line keys. And either press the transfer to complete, or wait for the internal party to hang up, and come back to the caller and say you cannot deal with the call at the present moment. If you wish to do a blind transfer, or an unannounced transfer, you can press the transfer button before the other party answers, although this only works for internal transfers and not external ones, which you always have to wait for an answer before transferring. But it's quicker to do a blind transfer to simply drag and drop the call onto the extension. In this instance, the line key will show transferring until the caller is picked up. If no one picks the call up again, it is possible to take the call back manually by pressing the line key. More help can be found online via the Help drop-down menu, or by right-clicking any key and selecting the Help button. Thank you. More videos on advanced client use and other features will be available soon.